All right, boys and girls, this is Mr. Bell, Mr. Bell's Math. Today we're going to be talking about area of quadrilaterals. Our central question, or what I want you to know by the end of the video, is how can you find the areas of parallelograms, rhombuses, and trapezoids? So our first example is going to be the area of a parallelogram. Okay, so this is how you figure out the area of a parallelogram. It says the area of a parallelogram is the product. So product means to multiply. All right, the product of its base, which is considered B, and its height, which is H. Okay, the base, which is this length right here, and its height, which is that length right there. Okay, and that's denoted as A, which is area, equals B times H. So let's look at a quick example. Here it says, um, find the area of the parallelogram. I got the formula, A equals B times H. When the base looks like it's 14 centimeters and the height is 7 centimeters. All right, so all you have to do is just plug in your values in the formula. So my formula is area equals base times height. My base is 14 centimeters. And I'm going to multiply that times my height, which is 7 centimeters. All right, so I can just come over here and say 14 times 7. 7 times 4 is 28 carry the 2, 7 times 1 is 7, plus 2 is 9, so my area equals 98 centimeters squared, and that's all there is to it. All right, so the next one we have is the area of a trapezoid. All right, the area of a trapezoid is half of its height multiplied by the sum of the lengths of its two bases. Okay, so a trapezoid has two bases. There's this base, and this base. We call this base 1, we call this base 2. And then this is the height, okay? A line perpendicular to one base and it reaches to the other base. And then we just, so the formula is area equals 1 half times the height, so a half of the height. And then I add the two bases together and multiply that times that. All right? It's really simple. Let's go ahead and look at an example. Okay? So we have find the area of the trapezoid. Here's my trapezoid. All right, my area, once again, is area equals one-half times the height. Here's the height, perpendicular line running from one base to the next, and it's 14 centimeters, times base 1, which is 9 centimeters, plus base 2, which is 15 centimeters. So let's write it down. Okay, I'm going to say area equals one-half times the, the height, not the base, the height. Let me back up here. I don't want to confuse anybody. Times the height plus base 1 plus base 2. All right, so let's go ahead and plug in our numbers. I don't have a number for area. 1 half is okay. My height is 14 centimeters. All right, base 1 is 9 plus base 2, which is 15. Okay, now what you have to remember here is that multiplication is commutative. All right, if I get no, that's the sum of 9 plus 15 and it's even, I can take half of that number. Or, if 14 is even, which it is, I can take half of that number. Or, I can multiply these two, the sum, and this um, number here, and get an answer, and then take half of that. So, any one of these ways works because multiplication is commutative. I like taking half of 14 because that's easy to do. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Well, let me first add. Okay, I got one area equals one half times 14 times, what's 9 plus 15? Well, 24. Okay? So, actually, I may take half of um, half of 24. That looks easy, too. Now, let's just stick with the 14. So, area equals, what's half of 14, but 7, and then I have times 24. Okay? So, I don't know what that is. 24 times 7. 7 times 4 is 28. Carry the 2. 7 times 2 is 14 plus 2 is 16, so the area equals 168 centimeters squared. Remember, area is always going to be squared. All right, let's look at this last one, area of a rhombus. The area of a rhombus is half of the product of its two diagonals. So this is a diagonal going from one corner to the opposite, one corner to the opposite. So each one of these is a diagonal. Okay, and they can be the same length or they can be different lengths, depends on the on the rhombus. 
So the formula says our area equals one half of the product. So we multiply the two diagonals together and then we divide it by two. Or we can divide one of the diagonals by two and then multiply it times the other one. Or, you know, vice versa, I can multiply by the second one. So let's look at an example of this one. All right, so here it says find the area of the rhombus. I have one diagonal is 18, the other diagonal is 11. All right, so let's go ahead and plug it in. I got area equals one half times diagonal one times diagonal two. So area equals one half. 18 is, my, is one of my diagonals and 11 is the next. So I can't take half of 11, okay? I could, but it gives me a decimal. I don't want to do that. That's, a, that's an odd number, but I can take half of this easily, okay? One half times 18 is basically 18 divided by two, which gives me area equals nine and then times 11. Now this multiplication here is a lot easier to do. So area equals nine times 11, which be area equals 99 and here we have inches squared. And that's it. That's all there is to it. It's a pretty, pretty simple, simple project altogether. Make sure you answer the questions and come to class ready to do your independent practice.